We studied this week in Itaguá, which is a place in Ubatuba on the coast of São Paulo, Brazil. Not necessarily the most beautiful place of this region, but for sure a great place for full-time cruises for so many reasons. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And after two years bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life, it's finally time to start exploring. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new episode. Mom, I have my own videographer now. He's called Fernando. And now, it's the that's challenge. Cool. We need to put the sails back. We have the sails back, but that's gonna be like a war to put these huge sails back in place. First win. That was the easy one. Now the main sail is gonna take <laughs> much longer. We need to put the battens and batting cars and everything. But we can do it. After two days with the poison there, another cockroach was found. If you didn't watch our last video, we found a cockroach in our boat. We applied some poison on the V-birth area and we left there for two days. It's time to organize all this mess. Finally! <laughs> Start to walk inside of the boat. Yeah. Our friends from Shikama met a guy that lives here and they invited us to go to our market today, so here we go. It's actually another fellow metal boat owner. Yeah, he has, I, I think you remember, we passed by a white and blue metal boat on the way in. That's the owner of the boat, so we heard like everyone here owns a metal boat. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. 
Aqui é a galera do orgânico de Ubatuba, tá? Então banana, fruta, mandioca. There were so many goods on the market, but we had plans to travel in a few days, so unfortunately we couldn't buy anything. But for sure it was worth, even just to get to know the place. It's amazing how your perspective of a place can change according to the experiences you have. This was our second time in Itagua, and the first time we got there I hated it. The water is polluted, we need to pull the zinc so far on the muddy shore, cockroach entered in the boat flying, the anchor is not the best as it's most of the time rolling with the tourism schooners passing by all the time and I couldn't wait to leave the place. The second time we went to this place my point of view changed. We still had all these, let's say, problems, but we started loving the neighborhood. A good place to walk close to the ocean, a lot of good options for markets, some good and cheap food, a good place to serve bureaucracy needed, we made friends around, Luca found great places to go surfing, the internet works really well. So, in the end, we learned to love Itagua, and for sure, we are gonna miss this place soon. Let's go. Mission of the day? Take the garbage out. One, and second? Washing clothes. <laughs> yeah, we found out that there is a laundry mat in town, so we're gonna walk there and try to wash our clothes. Supposedly it opens seven days a week until 10 p.m. Today is Sunday. Let's hope they are telling the truth and it's still open. Hopefully it's, oh, it's open because it's kind of far. And there comes the wave. It's amazing how motorboats cross by every single day so fast and they don't care about the speed and about the waves and they make so many waves for us. Bye, loving. See you later, Loba. It's supposed to rain, Elova was supposed to stay, but she did an emotional. <laughs> we call that chantage in Portuguese. I'm not sure in English what's the name, but she's like emotional chantage, chantage emotional. <laughs> she was like there, looking at us, are you sure, are you gonna leave me here? She's like looking and looking and looking, because I wanna go dad, I wanna go, Uncle Duke, I wanna go. Don't leave me alone, I made it, I made it. It worked! <laughs> Repeat the cycles in my head, bring me down. And I've been itching at the back of my head, the crown. If I remain or inside my head, it's one of the two. Cause this head is controlling me, and me it's just you. Go, go, go. Your turn. Your turn. Go. Say it's over, my friend. How long until the end? Cause I'm past the point where I can amend. I don't love myself, but I can pretend. So now you can tell the sail is holding the boom. This lifting line is just here and the blocks are not hitting each other. Yeah, the problem was we needed to cut the sail 
and that's it that's good now I think we're all good that's pretty good I love it I love this new system because we used to have here I don't know if you remember but the line used to start here and have one by one system so now it's like I think it's like one two three by one that was two by one now it's three by one that's pretty good but that means one problem fixed we don't have much wind right now but at least we got to try the sail in place and I can tell that the sail is actually holding so the idea for today is to go to another place to spend the day there yeah we're gonna spend the day sleep one night and then we come back because we have a mission on Friday we need to go to Paraty. Paraty is our next far destination, but Fernando, our friend from Serenata, needs to go to the offseat that he signed up for his captain test. And the wind is gonna be bad just to go and back. Go, just to go and come back by sail. And we have many places we want to visit along the way, so he decided he wants to rent a car. So we're gonna just a sec. So we are gonna rent a car, go with Fernando to Paraty and spend the day there. That's just beautiful. And now we have a proper main sail. That's so exciting, I love it. Separate, separate. Go, go, go. 